Hello Autodesk people. In today's video, we're going to discuss near field communication tag support in the assets module of the Autodesk Construction Cloud. Have a look. These are NFC tags. And the idea behind these is as you approach your mobile device to the tag, it'll automatically scan and pull up a record of the asset on your mobile device. So join me on a deeper dive on how to accomplish this. Well, thanks Autodesk people for joining us on this deeper dive for NFC support. When you're dealing with assets on a large scale, uh, it's important to have all the information readily available uh, for the people who are out in the field. So NFC support is a really great way to do this. And the way I've outlined this is 10 simple steps for an administrator to go through to make sure that they've got everything they require to support this with NFC tags. Now this method that you're seeing for NFC tags can also be applied towards barcodes and QR codes, but I wanted to make sure I covered NFC tags since that's the one that's a little more challenging. If you're using barcodes or if you're using QR codes, the quick response codes, the procedure is going to be slightly different, but you can kind of follow the outline to make sure that you take care of all those things. So let's start off with our first step here. When we're doing NFC tag support, step number one is to acquire the NFC tags themselves. Take a look at the link in the description below to see what kind of tags I purchased. If you're in the market for an NFC tag, then I would highly encourage you to go to amazon.com and take a look around at all of the different offerings that are available. I found this one in particular. It's a, it's a small quantity at a nice price. Um, I was able to test it and I don't particularly endorse one brand versus another. I just want to let you know what I purchased and what worked for me. So when you combine this NFC tag in particular with the application that you'll later see, uh, those worked hand in hand together to help me get the results that I was looking for. Um, just make sure that when you are buying them, I did want to share this little piece of uh, information with you. When I went to buy them, I noticed that when I was doing my research and looking at the comments, some of them were not editable devices, uh, writable or programmable. And uh, just make sure that when you're going through and purchasing whatever you purchase, make sure that you can um, make sure that they're edible, ed sorry, editable, writable, and programmable. So now that you've seen step one, let's move on to step two, which is to review the assets. Starting off right off the bat here, just make sure that you access build. It's the module here that you're going to see me highlight in just a moment. It's build. And in the left navigation bar, you're going to see assets. You're going to notice that when I select this, I've already got about 33 assets and it shows you the total at the bottom. Additionally, I've got cat categories and even some subcategories in there. Now, the reason I'm bringing your attention to this and having you review this is because of the URL. When I select any one of these, it's not only will it bring up the panel in the far right here, but it's also going to bring up the unique asset ID for each one of these. As you can see here, UH-1 ends in BA-96, right? And then if I click on another one, we've got this one ending in 942. <laughs> 942. That sounds like an R2-D2 Star Wars character. The point is, each one of these items, each one of these assets has its own unique ID, and we're going to leverage these IDs in some of the upcoming steps. Now that you've seen step two, let's move on to step three, which is the required NFC syntax. What I'm doing here is I'm showing you the source documentation, which comes from the Autodesk Knowledge Network on Build. In the left navigation pane here, there's a section on assets, and I'm currently looking at this bold article, which is scan assets in the field. I'm going to provide a link in the description below. Now, if I look at this article, I know it says Android and all this other stuff, and there's specifically NFC tag scanning on Android. This is the exact same thing further below for iOS. This sentence says, in order to use the NFC tag scanning functionality, the NFC tag needs to be written using the following format, ADSK-asset UID colon, and then this nomenclature here in the brackets, that's the asset ID which we were just looking at when we picked on the individual assets. 
Now that you've seen step three, let's move on to step four, which is extracting assets from build. Okay, so let's export these assets. It's a pretty simple process. Let's go ahead and use this checkbox right next to name. And that's going to select all of our assets. And you can see we got 33 of 33 in this project. And now I can export them all. So I'll go ahead and hit on export. And I do want to show you, so this will email me when it's ready. I do want to show, while that's getting prepared, I do want to show you one quick thing. Let's go look at this particular asset, HP-16. Okay. So this asset here, um, the asset ID, which is everything after this backslash, specifically the BF3 ID, is everything after the equal sign. So this number is what we're after, what we're actually after. The email just came in. Good. So um, what we want is we want to work smarter, not harder. And we're about to show you how all of that comes together. All right, let me open up this email that Autodesk just sent me. As you can see, it's on screen here. And now I can download this asset, this asset report. And it comes through as a CSV file, and I'll open it up in Excel. And we're going to leverage this information. So as I mentioned before, allow me to just do this really quick. Um, we can go look at HP 16, and here's that number, um, 942, which is the last four digits. And I can verify that when I go look at my asset list here, select HP 16, and here's that same number ending in 942. Now that you've seen step four, let's move on to step five, which is using Excel to concatenate the syntax. Okay, so now that we have the asset IDs exported and we know the syntax, we're going to leverage Excel to help us work smarter, not harder. So let's see how to do that. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the CSV file that we're currently looking at and I'm going to reformat it for an Excel file. So let's go ahead and do that now. I'm just going to do a save as. I'm going to tell it that I want it to be in Excel and that I want it to be on my desktop. Okay, so now that we have an Excel file, we want to make a new tab just to keep things organized. The first column I want here is the NFC syntax. And then the, la the second column, which will be the last column, is going to be the asset. All right. So the formula that we have to use is a simple concatenation formula. And I like to uh, make sure that I do with this properly. So it's ADSK-asset UID and then a colon. Okay. So next, we want to use the ampersand function, which is a concatenation function. And we want to tell it. Let's go look at this particular column over here. So there it ex automatically extracts the asset and it concatenates the B3F ID with the appropriate uh, column there. Next, we want to make sure that we reference the, um, the appropriate name column as we have right here. And I know that there's 33 of these assets, so I'll just drag this down to 34 which would include the header column. And now we've got every single asset appropriately formatted along with the asset ID. Now that you've seen step five, let's move on to step six, which is using a combination of Outlook and Microsoft To Do. All right, so now that we have our Excel file, everything's concatenated. We have the B3F ID. Its syntax is set up properly with how we want it. And we have an identifier for the asset that we're dealing with. Now that we've got all this set up, we want to be able to have these very complicated numbers, as you can see here. And we want to plug them into our phone so that when we use the NFC writer, it's not going to have a problem, right? Rather than manually typing everything in and having the possibility for errors or omissions or transfer uh, transposed numbers, what we want to do is we want to do it in a very smart way. One of the best ways that I've found is with a checklist type of uh, software. Um, it's an app that you can get. It's tied into Microsoft. It's called To Do. Okay, and it the foundation of To Do is actually in Outlook. It's in your tasks. So let's get this list with these two columns, NFC syntax, as well as the asset column. Let's get that into Excel. Let me show you how we do that. Step one, we have to export this back out as a CSV. There's reasons why I like to keep the, the Excel separate from the, the, uh, the CSV, but this is what we're going to do. I'm gonna go ahead and save it on my desktop. 
as you can see here. And I want to close this file, this CSV file that I currently have that is open. Um, Outlook doesn't really like importing files, which is our next step. It doesn't like importing files if the file is currently open. So I went ahead and closed that file and now let me open up Outlook. So here's Outlook. I'm looking at my notes currently. We want to get to the tasks. Okay, so here we're in tasks and we want to create a brand new folder, a new folder. And this is going to be assets for Autobahn project. All right, now that we have that, let's go ahead and click on OK and let's select it. Now, this is going to prime the import process so that it drops directly into this folder. Now I'll go to the file, open and export, import, export. So here we have import from another program or file. And let's bring it in as a CSV file that it is. I'll navigate to where that file is. It's on my desktop and you can choose any of these options. I'm going to choose to allow duplicates. You may not want to. And once that's in there, you're going to see that it's already pre-selected the, the folder that I just created. And then I'll hit next. This is the crucial part of this. It's going to bring in assets, um, export.csv, and it's going to bring this in, but we have to map the fields, okay? So it doesn't know that NFC syntax, um, I've already run this once, so you're seeing some differences here. The NFC syntax has to be mapped to the subject. To map it, all you do is click and drag it. And the assets, I wanna place those under notes, okay? So I'm gonna click and drag assets, to notes. Now it's only bringing in those two columns. That's all I need. Once this is set up, I can finish this. And this is now created all of this information and it's on my mobile phone. Doing it through Outlook Tasks brings it over to my app to do, Microsoft to do. Now I know that you're seeing this and you're probably wondering, hey, Jay, where is that, where is that asset column that you brought in? Well, if you don't see it, which was my case, Simply right click on any one of these column headers and go to your view settings. And it's not necessary, it's already there, but just go ahead and scroll down till you see notes and make sure that you insert it, you add it right after the subject line here, okay? So this will be your verification that you have these assets and their uh, syntax that you need in order for the NFC field to work. Now, let's bring over my phone. Stand by and I'll pull up my phone on my screen here. All right, so here we have our to-do list, as you can see. And um, let's go to my lists. Here's my assets for Autobahn project. And here is each individual asset. As you can see here, I've got the asset itself with the formatted syntax. And down below, you see that it says HSCP-401. So I know that I've got this. Now, why is this important? Well, it's important because I may have 33 assets. I may have hundreds of assets. So I need to make sure that I know which ID belongs to which asset, as you can see here. So the reason I've chosen to include that is I wanna be able to select this item here. And I'll just go ahead and long press and pull that down. And I'll copy this. And I can send this to my NFC writer. I can send this to my NFC writer app now. And I know that it belongs specifically to HSCP-401. And when I'm done with this, notice that little bubble at, uh, at the left side of each one of these. I can click on that and it disappears from my list. Now I have 32 assets that I have to take care of. That's why I think that Microsoft To Do, it's a really good tool. It's a checklist style tool. And I can copy paste and I I dragged all that information from build back, back out to this module and now I can write it. Now that you've seen step six, let's move on to step seven, which is the NFC read writing application. Take a look at the link in the description below to see what I'm using. So now that we have all this information ready for us to use, let's go ahead and leverage it. All right, so the first thing that you need to know is what application are we gonna be using? So let me take you and show you what I'm using. It's this one called NFC QR Code Docs for iPhone by Nicolo Sanchu. And uh, this one I've been using um, for a little while now. I just had to reinstall it, but uh, let me show you what that looks like on the iPhone itself. Stand by guys. 
And you know what? I should probably keep that up in the background and bring my iPhone up front. There we go. Yeah, so let's look at this one. So let's go ahead and uh, put this one aside for just a moment and let's go look at NFC. So here's the NFC application. It's super simple. There's only really three things to know. Um, up here is the addition. Um, so you can write. And then um, over here is the reading and writing uh, functionality. So here's where you add a tag. And then here's where you read and write those tags. Now that you've seen step seven, let's move on to step eight, which is writing the asset ID to the tag. Great. So um, now that we've got all that information ready and prepped, and we know what software we're going to be using, which application we'll use, let's show you how you'll go about programming this. It's pretty simple. First, we're going to start off with our Microsoft To Do. I'm going to go ahead and grab one of these, let's say this one, and this one happens to be UH-1. I can see that in my notes down at the bottom. And what I'll do is I'll simply come in here and I'll grab all of this information. I'll copy it. Okay, now I'm done. And um, I'll go ahead and tick one, tick this one off the list. It happens to be that one there. Next, I'll go to my NFC, um, and then I'll go ahead and write this information. So first, I have to add the information in here. And this, when you add this, you use that plus button in the upper right hand corner, and you click on the text type here. The message is a text type. You paste that in just like so, and then save this. You can even add an additional comment in here, like UH-1, okay? So this is important if you want to keep track of what's going on. Um, so I'll go ahead and close this one out. Every once in a while, I'll notice that I have to reopen it to get that title come in all the way, UH-1. Next, we will write it. So again, with the little three waves button, I'll go ahead and write NFC this time. I'll write the NFC. And then it says ready to scan and I'll bring my phone right next to my um, my tag and I'll go ahead and get the confirmation and I actually felt it buzz a second ago that it wrote that information to the tag. It's that simple. Now that you've seen step eight, let's move on to step nine, which is testing the tag. Great, so now that we've written that information, let's just test to see what we have here, okay? Stand by. Let me delete the current record. All right, and let's just read this time. So here is that same NFC tag. We'll go ahead and read it, and it'll give us the record of what's on there. As you can see, it's got all that information in there as text, which is exactly what we're looking for. Now that you've seen step nine, let's move on to step 10, which is execute in build plan grid app. And now that we've tested that all of our NFC tags have uh, have the right information on them. It's now time to take the final step and just ensure that we've got everything connected properly and working in build. So let's go ahead and switch our app here to plan grid build. And as you can see here, we've got my project and in the ellipses button at the far bottom right hand corner, I wanna ensure that I'm on assets. Okay, here's here I am on assets. And we want to scan. Uh, there's two portions of this. There's the um, barcode and then there's the NFC. So I'll just switch to the NFC and I'll start my scan. And I'll go ahead and grab that information. And as you can see here, it pulls up the information about that piece of equipment that we can leverage and uh, ensure that we've got everything taken care of. And now it's just time to manage things like the status and whatnot. Don't forget to like the video, and if you want more tips, techniques, and principles that make you a better construction professional, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications.